Uh, so yeah, let's uh, just start now. You've had a chance to look over what happened uh, on Sunday. Just uh, let us know how before that went. Yeah, we were really happy. Um, obviously, from two weeks before the spending wheel game, we were really kind of disappointed in ourselves the way we the way we played and the way we kind of um, reduced the games to kind of very kind of basic terms and just went very direct which isn't our game and we were kind of sucked into the way spending we were trying to play so we worked really hard over the sessions in between to really nail that out and we've we had a bit of a kind of soul searching discussion with the group and talked about how we were going to go back to how we play um, tweaks with shape tweaks with personnel and then from them sessions the really pleasing thing was that it was a different game at Hull like it was night and day in terms of the style of play in terms of the confidence and we've just been there doing the analysis with the, with the girls and like you can see it like we four or five six seven different examples of when we the stuff we worked on training has gone directly into the game and that's the key bit for us is identifying that and really pushing that and not not kind of getting what's the word like complacent with it because we've got to keep pushing it and although we're starting to see the, the positives now, we've got Redka next week and we've got Walls End and we've got Spenny Moore again and it's all about right, demonstrating this as we go keep, and kind of continue with it. Yes, obviously, uh, let's just start with the first half. Besides the goal, what can you tell us about what exactly went on during that first Yeah, we knew that, um, we knew that Hull United were going to come on like, like really fast and, and aggressive. Um, like I've played against Hull before, the girls have played against Hull before and it's what they're all about and, and it's really effective, especially on the small pitches that I play on at their place. And then we knew that if we just weathered that storm, keep doing what we're doing, not get again like we're talking about, get sucked into that, it would come good. And from that 15, 20 minute mark, we really started to kind of grind them down a little bit and keep the ball, maintain possession, move the ball around quickly, getting chances and chances. And yeah, we conceded corners and set pieces, but we dealt with them all perfectly as well. And that concentration was there throughout the first half, so like in like 44 minutes or whenever, whenever the, so we got her goal right towards the end. We exploited that lapse of concentration they had, and obviously it was great play. It was keeping the ball, kind of almost like hypnotising the opposition into focusing on the ball. Quick ball at the top from Jazz, and Sophie's got a run at goal and a, and a great strike on her. So yeah, the game plan worked exactly as it should first half. Yeah, obviously you've um, mentioned Sophie getting a goal just before the half time break. How did that change your team talk exactly at half time on that we were in front? It's going to sound strange, but not too much. We we knew that a goal or two would, would be what it takes for us to kind of alleviate that pressure and whether it came just before half time we were pretty confident if not it would probably come just after half time so when we brought the girls in we kind of used that as a point of like look there's the proof there's what we're talking about everything we're doing is working it was about reinforcing that keep doing it don't get worried about kind of wow well, they're, they're playing it long they've been really physical and they're, yeah they're winning back a turnover or two because we're winning we're winning the possession we're winning the, the kind of individual battles and the chances were coming especially as you watch the footage as the half wore on the more chances we got because we just kept playing around how much of an advantage do you think it was for them going down to 10 early into the second half in hindsight, it's always an advantage. Like it, let, it lets us exploit the space, it lets us move it around. But they did what a team would do going down one, their player less with 1-0. Like they chucked the ch kitchen sink at it. And we knew that, again, they would come come out. But the previous thing was the girls didn't then, again, go back to any kind of old habits. It was just, right, OK, play it down. Just pull our socks up and get on with it. And then we just turned it into a fitness thing for them. Let's see how fit they are in terms of Hull United. And, that's why we scored like three goals in the last 10 minutes because we just tied them out. Yeah, just like touching them final last 10 minutes. Uh, you've mentioned fitness there. Um, just how good was that spell, do you think? It was perfect. It was everything we talked about, especially the players coming on. Each Like Becker, whether it was um, Ebony coming on, we talked about exploiting the spaces that they're starting to leave. So I said to Becker going in that kind of in the pocket in behind Eve, and when Eve creates some spaces, just hanging them. So when that ball went back across, Josie picked it up and went into Becker. She had all the time in the world because she just stayed out and maintained that space. So, yeah, it was really pleasing. Um, the discipline the girls showed as well, because obviously it was a game where there was quite a bit of adversity. There's a bit of challenge in terms of a mental and psychological point of view. But well, the girls just weathered it and just kind of laughed it off and got on with it. Um, and that was that was the most pleasing thing that I think in other times we might lose our heads with the provocation. But the last just laughed it off and got on with it and like I say, just tightened our grip on the game even more. Um, Scarlett was handed the player of the match. Can you just talk about her performance out there? Yeah, phenomenal. Obviously, she saved, I think, three or four 1v1s, which as a goalkeeper, we, we say in training things when the strikers are doing the finishing drills, that a striker is expected to score a 1v1. So for them to have four and Scarlett save all four, that's phenomenal. Distribution was on point. Obviously, it's haunted a little bit by, by one of the goals at Spenny Moore, but seeing her steaming out 20 yards and smashing the ball into the other corner, that exercised that. And I think for her, it was a real cathartic experience. So Scarlett's a quality goalkeeper. And 
again, like, like everyone, there's a couple of bad habits in there, but we're, we're really working on that. And like all the girls, she's learning so, so quickly. So to go from kind of probably feeling quite low after the Spenwell game to coming off there, being standout player from a point of view of kind of kept it a different game, then I think she'll be happy with that day's work as a goalkeeper. And uh, just finally for me, looking ahead to the weekend against uh, Red Car, what can you tell us about them? Um, Red Car are, are kind of a, they're a good team. They've been in the league for a long time. Um, they try and play football the right way. There'll be another football on the side like ourselves. But the key is that we, we, we're taking approach and we're not changing how we're going to play. We're going to go out there. We're going to, we're going to implement and, and kind of force our style onto other teams and see how they react. It's a bigger pitch than we had on, at Hull, which is which is always good. Um, it's a good quality pitch. It's a, it's a classical ground to be at. It's, it's obviously it's a Northern League ground. with it. It's got that feel to it. Um, and we're looking forward to it now because it's relentless. It's like Tuesday, Thursday training, game Sunday, repeat. And it's what we wanted because obviously pre-season drags on a little bit sometimes. Um, we had a shorter pre-season than maybe others, but it worked out. And like I say, maybe the spending wheel game is a good lesson for us to now then start pressing forward. And don't get me wrong, there's going to be bumps in the road and there's going to be times where we have that adversity. But we've just got to hold it together as a squad and work through it.